Hey everybody, this is JD Gaming back today with a very special OCG opening for you guys. Today we're taking a look at the exclusive Rarity Collection set, which is an OCG exclusive reprint set because they don't get mega packs or any of those, you know, yearly tins or anything overseas. And this is their main way of doing it. It's just a very dark red on black here. You can kind of see, you know, it is all foil. And if you look at the back here, you know, you can easily read that. So it's just the camera not getting this lighting perfect, unfortunately, um, with how shiny this pack package is, but this is a really cool set because it's all foil, kind of like our shadows in Valhalla or Battles of Legend, but it's comprised entirely of secret rare, super rares, ultra rare, ultimate rare, extra secret rare, so hopefully I pull one of those so I can show you guys, and holographic rare, which is their ghost rare. So we're going to go ahead and crack one of these guys open. I actually, back before this channel was quite, um, you know, the size it is now, ended up opening a few of these off camera just for myself. That's actually where my Korean ultimate rare pot of desires came from and stuff like that. But I feel like this would be a pretty interesting product to do since you guys seem to enjoy some of the more recent OCG openings for things. And I definitely enjoy taking a look at these sets. But yeah, look at that red on black. I know you can't see it in full detail here on camera because of how dark it is, but it's just an amazing thing here. So very glad we have that. And 15 packs, four cards each. And this is again, the Korean version, all foils. So let's see how this goes. Tip to anyone like Cyber Knight or anyone who may be opening OCG packs, if they have the little hole in the top for the, like the pack rack, pull on that and it makes it very easy to open. I learned that over time. At first I had no clue and now I was struggling just as much. But yeah, let's look at that. You can see much better on here just how vivid that red is. I love that color. Starting off, we have Elemental Hero Blaze Man. And then we got Coral Dragon as a super rare. Nice, nice. Card of Demise is a very fine super rare indeed. And an ultra rare right off the bat, we have Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. And spoiler alert, this thing is actually one of the most pulled ultras in this set, but nonetheless, it is a great card to get. Um, some of the other Ghost Girl hand traps are in here as well. I believe Ghost Bell is the only one not represented because it did not exist at the time of this set being created. Um, it had been released, or it was released in, what was it, Extreme Force sometime along the way, and so we ended up not getting it. We got some, we got a, uh, what is this, Dark Lord Ixchel, I believe, and then we got Cyphering Lord Omega, very nice, super. Got Ghost Trick Dullahan as a super rare foil, and, oh boy, ultimate rare elemental hero Honest Neos, and let me just get this camera off of the uh, focus here, just so I could show that. Man, does that look gorgeous. That's just a really pretty card. One thing is, um, I was looking forward to hopefully pulling an ultimate rare version of the, what was it, the Ash Blossom. So, uh, pulling an ultimate here means we probably won't be getting that, but nonetheless, I think that is a nice ulti to get. I obviously love heroes, and it's definitely a one of in most of my decks, so maybe I'll just use this card instead. Then we got Super Rare Unizombie, you know, before we got Ultra in Battles of Legends, so I definitely like that. I was actually using these guys. We got, uh, ntz, uh, you know, Elder Entity ne uh, Nites, or Entes. Uh, I think it was actually called Nutesu. Yeah, it says Nutosu in um, Korean here. So uh, this is actually the first, uh, the original way that the uh, OCG got it is um, through Korean packs for the Elder and Outer entities and you know, gods and stuff. We got Foolish Burial in Super, very nice, and you know, you may have seen that in my profiles. And we got Ultra Rare Ultimaya Zulkin as our uh, synchro monster here as like our special rarity. So you see pattern in this pack is three supers plus one additional holofoil. Um, OCG also had a collector's rare, but we don't get that here, unfortunately. Or rather, Japan did. Korea did not. Then we have another Unizombie, a Gamma Seal super. That looks very nice. Then we got, ooh, Phantom Knights of Breaksword and Ultra Rare Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, which is pretty nice considering we only got it as a secret. So just looking at that, it's such a vivid thing. And at the end of this, I'll do a very nice like close-up zoom here so you can look at these in closer detail. I always liked looking at card pictures on like, back in the day it was like Yu-Gi-Oh! Wikia and even freaking like toywiz.com and stuff, whatever I could find um, before the days of, you know, stuff like this. So I think it'd be pretty cool to do like a video close-up in case you want to see what these cards feel like up close. Then we got uh, number 99. This is like Utopic Dragon or whatever. I don't remember exactly what it is. We got Digusto Emerald, which is not forbidden over there. And oh man, this is gorgeous. <laughs> A secret rare Twin Twisters. Like I know uh, we just pulled some in Shadows in Valhalla, but 
man, just parallel rear looks so nice. I'm gonna zoom in on this right now just so you guys can see that. That's just, that's just amazing. Like, wow. And this is why I love the OCG cards. Um, lots of different reasons why I prefer OCG cards most of the time. Um, I am biased in my opinion because I do have a uh, background in Korea, but this is still, you know, this is still just so gorgeous, that secret rare. We got, I think this is Harmonizing Magician, but don't shoot me if I don't know because I don't play pen magicians. Then we got Tatsunoko, uh, we got, oh, number 42, the Tomahawk, Galaxy Tomahawk guy, and, oop, almost dropped it, ultra rare version of our Trap Tricks Rafflesia, which looks really cool. Um, after playing with the secret for such a long time, it's very nice to see an ultra of this. It would be kind of cool to get a reprint that wasn't just the Megaton version of that card as well. But nowadays, it's not quite as popular as it once was, so I don't know if it'll get that. Ruffian Railcar. The reason this thing's in here is because it was like a magazine promo on Japan only, and um, it came out in like our next challengers or something as a common import. Korea never got it, so they're like, hey, here's your foil. Um, we got a Coral Dragon again, Foolish Burial, and, ooh, this is a nice one, Ultra Rare Silent Magician. And that name is just so long, it's probably like some like very honorific title, Silent Magician, is what I'm guessing the OCG did with that. So, so far we got a Secret Rare, we got an Ultimate Rare, let's see if we can pull um, possibly an extra secret, maybe a Holographic Rare, those I heard are very, very hard to pull. I opened three boxes of this before and never pulled any of those, so we'll see. This is like Night Express Knight or something, Punny, and then we got uh, Cypher and Lord Omega, the seventh one, and Chicken Game as a Super. Honestly, I'm kind of upset that this card was just too degenerate to stay in our game, because uh, Chicken Game is just such a cleverly and... I guess enjoyably funnily not funny but like fun designed card um and it is kind of sad to see it be abused to the point that it is gone but and actually uh looks like i didn't get a special rarity in this one um perhaps it's just you get mainly supers and then you get sometimes something better because uh, ocg cards you actually don't get a foil guaranteed or even a rare guaranteed for that matter so you know that'd be like kind of like getting a bunch of commons in a pack we got Elemental Blazeman, another Nutos, uh, Card of Demise number two, and ooh, Ultra Rare Fairy Tale Snow. I actually do have a playset of these guys uh, for the next time. We have a new Forbidden and Limited list, and I do Light Sworn, so very excited to use those. Because I remember back in the day, I picked up one Super Rare foil in TCG, and then uh, had a bunch of comments because I was like, this thing's gonna get limited or something, and it, and it never did. So we got Gamma Seal and Unizombie, got Neos the Contact Fusion, and another copy of Ghost Reaper. Um, kind of glad that we didn't get too many of those so far, considering how overrepresented it seemed in this set overall. And we got Genex Ally Undyne, or Genex Undyne, excuse me, the 99 Dragon Dude, third card of Mize in a box, awesome. And the Seal of Ori Kalkos as a super rare, nice, nice. And um, I believe a lot of the times the Legendary Collection cards are exclusives we get in the TCG, um, so it's kind of cool to see this thing get a super print in OCG. Then we got that Magician again, you know, the Tuner one, the one. Uh, we got the Tatsunoko, um, looks like a Synchro in the special slot, behind all the hand, and it's another Ultimaya Zulkin, so not a bad card. Definitely a fun card now that we actually have some Link Monsters and can make it and make use of its effect again. We have Ruffian Railcar, got a Tatsunoko again, got a Breaksword, and an Ultra Rare copy of Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. So starting to see some duplicates here because it isn't the biggest set in the world. Got a Night Express Knight. Oh, there's something new. Tech Genius Wonder Magician. Then we got uh, another uh, Digosto Emerald. And whoa, I was not expecting another secret rare. That is awesome. That grass looks greener in all of its very parallel rare glory. So wow, that's just absolutely awesome. I love this thing. We'll put that right there. And I was trying to, you know, make sure that the packs don't, you know, like, uh, the reason I had the camera do this autofocus is uh, I actually had it focusing at one point, kind of like this, except, you know, not quite a saturated yellow. Um, and that's why, you know, I, I was just trying to make sure the colors don't mess up, but we'll get it fixed up just a little bit here as we do our final pack. Then we got Blazeman, Coral Dragon, we got another Neos thing, and another Trap Tricks Rafflesia. So we didn't quite pull an extra rare 
this time or extra secret rare, but I'll do a recap of this box real quick and show you some of the other stuff I pulled from the other boxes. All right, guys, it's time for my absolute favorite part of these openings, and it's to do a zoomed in recap. So here I basically took one of each of the cards that we pulled and I organized it in a way that represents the different rarities super up through ultimate and they're organized in terms of what we pulled one of two of and three of and then i do have some of the highlights that i pulled from the other three boxes of this for personal use off camera like the last couple months and so uh, i just wanted to go through that just to show what other cool things are available in this set as well just to give you a holistic view of it all so we'll start off here with the one of supers we got tg wonder magician Number 42, Galaxy Tomahawk, which looks very nice as a foil, I must say. Much better than the common we originally got in Primal Origin. Got Dark Lord Ixchel, and man, this is a cool design as well. Got Rank Up Magic, the seventh one. I love how OCG just abbreviates it to rum. It's just like, yeah, I play my rum magic card. Got the Seal of Ore Calcos. Got Chicken Game as well. And we only got this as a common before it got forbidden, so it's kind of nice to see it in a different rarity. Then for the cards we pulled two of we got double outer entity or no elder entity because this is a fusion uh nutos and then we got the uh Psy frame lord omega and it's kind of interesting seeing this as a non-secret rare because you get to see the image more clearly on super rares that's one of the reasons i do like these foils we got uh digusto emerald which isn't forbidden over there in Japan and Korea. We got Ghost Rick Dolahan. I remember my friend using this in Frog Monarchs. This was a very annoying card to deal with. And the Phantom Knights of Breaksword. OCG finally got a reprint of that as well. Number 99, the Hope Dragon thingy. Um, but this thing still looks nice even though it's not a secret rare. And then we got Gamma Seal, which is a huge throwback. Uh, like a year ago, uh, my brother and some friends and I went over to a local, so it was like 45 minutes away, and uh, my brother pulled a super rare Gamma Seal in his OTS pack. So that was a nice day, I remember that. Got the super rare Gen X Undyne. Again, these are all double cards. So then we got Night Express Knight and Ruffian Railcar for our train set. And we got a Harmonizing Magician. I'm going to go with that for now. The Korean literally just says Tuning Magician. If you think of Tuned Magician back from like, uh, like Duelist Genesis, that was an absolute garbage Gemini monster. So yeah, kind of hard for me to say which one it is. And I know there's like another Tuning Magician or whatever um, within the Pendulum archetype as well. So it's like, I have no clue which one is which we got foolish burial which is very nice i always wonder why they did it so the background's not foil and the everything else is then we got miracle contact uh ocg's not doing anything special with neospatians as far as i could tell so it's kind of interesting that they reprinted that and then the cards we have three of uh in our supers so we got three copies of tatsunoko which in japanese translates to the um so it was it seahorse's child and then the evolved or grown-up form it could be the dad it could be it who knows it's coral dragon and we got triple elemental hero blaze man which was good until you know vion pretty much took over even though it's a vision hero then we got Unizombie. I still love this super, even though we got the Ultra Rare recently. It just, it's, something looks really classy about this type of a super. It just looks really sleek, I think. And then uh, we have a full playset of Card of Demise, which is nuts for one box. Again, this box was 15 bucks retail in Korea. So it's like, you get three of these things. Like, Millennium Pack, even in OCG, you got one of these maybe. So that's a very solid reprint. Like that single-handedly could be a reason to buy this box. Then we got uh, the Ultras that we pulled one of. Just two of them actually. Silent Magician in its original rarity and an upgrade to Fairy Tale Snow. And um, this is kind of interesting. In Japan, we would have had a different color scheme. But originally, the snow actually had the same outfit colors as Disney's Snow White. And for copyright reasons, outside of Japan, they changed it to kind of like this greenish color, but I swear I had like this Mandela effect type of a scenario where I could have sworn she had that color scheme, but apparently not. It was changed, and I never even realized it was changed to green. Then we got some duplicate 
Ultras, love them or hate them, you know, Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries is a solid two of to pull. Ultimaya Zulkin, not so much, but still cool to see at least one of these guys, especially because uh, Link monsters are actually allowing us to play Synchros nowadays, um, one year later. Then we got Synchro Dragon, Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon in Ultra Rare, uh, which was actually their original rarity in their set as well. They got uh, Ultra, Secret, and Ulti, and Ghost, I believe, all four rarities. But uh, TCG, we only got Secret, so kind of nice to see a different rarity of that. And then Traptrix Rafflesia, just look at the vibrant colors on this. This is why I really like Ultra Rares, of course, that we only get as Secret. It's because you can actually see the artwork and enjoy it. Then, I have to go and take all of that back because I absolutely just adore how these parallel secret rares look we have twin twisters here and like man this is just such a nostalgic rarity it's like the old video game prismatic secret rares and wow this is just such a nice card and we also pulled a secret rare copy of that grass looks greener which i believe is the reason we didn't pull an extra secret or anything like that or holographic rare because you guaranteed pretty much at least it feels like it one ultimate rare, one secret rare, and then one random high rarity, and it could be a duplicate, and I believe we pulled a secret, but I'm very happy with the ones we ended up pulling, and then we ended up getting an ultimate rare version of Honest Neos as well, which, you know, I'm gonna glint that just a little bit because, man, that looks really, really cool. So, those are the cards we pulled this time, of course, but here are some other cool things that we didn't quite get this time. So, in the past, I pulled a super rare Macrocosmos, which back in the day was like uh, some sort of like a turbo pack or you know, something along those lines. So it's kind of cool to see that here. Same thing with Skill Drain. I think it came as an ultra rare in a turbo pack. Maybe it came as a super at one point. Uh, don't quite remember, but uh, I still like the 20th anniversary version of this. Uh, I played it in my ABC deck profile, but essentially it's like the Duelist Saga ultra rare, but it's that parallel effect on a common version of this card, just on the entire card. And it just looks really sick. So I really like that. And then the reason I was so happy with our secrets is because I ended up pulling super rare versions of these and these already looked really nice so there's a lot of variety here too kind of like how you could pull ultimate rare versions of cards you could pull different rarities within this set of an all foil set so that's just really cool to get that and um, upstart goblin is a nice little budget foil as well our turbo pack version of this is just disgustingly expensive even when it's at one and then we have a uh, chicken game this one's so blindingly brilliant you can't even see overdrive and the oni tank in that artwork unless you look carefully, so that's pretty cool. And we have, uh, I pulled a pair of Eye of Tamias. Uh, ended up pulling four boxes total, including today. So in the other three boxes, I pulled an Eye of Tamias and two different ones, which was really cool because that was before TCG even got an announcement of uh, reprints as common and Dragons of Legend deck. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And then we have Secret Rare, Traptrix Rafflesia, you may have seen this in the most recent profile, but essentially I just love this pattern. It's just such a nostalgic thing, so I like using that. And then I pulled two ultimate rare copies of raw sphere mode, which still looks really, really cool. Like, let's get a bit of that. Like, that looks like an eclipse right there. I really like the effect of that. And then one of my ultimates was this very nice pot of desires. I don't know why they changed the foil pattern. If you look like his teeth aren't foil, his eyes aren't foil, even though the OCG had a super slash secret rarity. So there were two variants in their version of the Dark Illusion. Um, they had foil on the card other than the background, but for these ultimates, they changed it up and I'm not exactly sure why. But nonetheless, this is a very cool ultimate rare and let me just get a little bit of that foil glint there yeah you can see like there's nothing on the card itself that's foil um other than the background and this is the one gem so out of back then three boxes now it looks like four boxes i pulled one extra secret rare and this is number 62 like galaxy prime photon dragon i think this looks like a if you've collected any of the Pokemon cards these days, they have GX cards, which are basically their new EX cards. And if you don't play Pokemon, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Basically, super charged boss versions of really popular creatures. And um, they have this type of a foil pattern almost. Like This just looks all like a Pokemon card to me. And that's not a bad thing. Like This looks really, really cool. Uh, I believe World's Championship prizes these days are match winner cards that are in extra secret rarity so just to be able to get access to something like that 
I think it's nice. And it's a step above the Platinum Secret Rare we got in those original Megatons back then with, like, Fire Fist guy and uh, with our, uh, what was it called? Um, with uh, Bujin guy as well. So, yeah, I really do like that. Let me bring it a little closer and just look at how gorgeous that secret rare is man but yeah that's it for now i guess as a quick aside you know people ask me every once in a while like why are you playing ocg cards and tcg cards jd well it's because my family is actually originally from south korea even though i was born in the states i do have kind of this personal connection to korean stuff and i can read it and then biggest thing is really I'm not playing at any events and at the end of the day that means I'm playing this game for fun so when you're playing it for fun why not use things that help get you more enjoyment out of the game like I just like collecting I like artistic things and like I, I, I look at artworks I look at different rarities I don't know I just like spending time just taking it in and enjoying and these cards allow me to do that in a way that not it is not always possible in the TCG. You have alternate forms, you have different rarities, it just looks cool, and that's ultimately why I like doing that. But, nonetheless, this has been an opening of the OCG's Rarity Collection. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know down below what you think about these OCG openings, if you'd like to see more of these exclusive types of products that we don't get in the States or anywhere else besides Korea and Japan. And do you think it would be possible in the future for Konami to release a set like this in the future? Maybe kind of like a gold series set, even if it starts off as like a tournament exclusive thing. Like maybe it ends up becoming, um, you could buy it only in tournament stores or maybe it's like a supplied pack for tournament stores. Like this becomes the new OTS type of standard. I don't know. I think it'd be pretty cool to do something like this, you know, expand the current tournament prizes that we have to something like this or just make it a product but those are just my thoughts i'd love to hear your thoughts down below and again i hope you guys enjoyed this is jd gaming and i'll see you guys next time that's the end of this video but there's plenty more where it came from i invite you to explore the playlists on screen to see what else i have to offer and if you really liked what you saw today consider subscribing to jd gaming for more Yu-Gi-Oh videos Thanks guys, this is JD Gaming, hope you guys enjoyed as always, and I'll see you guys next time.